Hey, what's up YouTube? Uh, today I'm going to do a little demo of Pyro Nation's 5 inch jawbreaker super canister shell. This is the case that it comes in. Uh, apologize for the noise, I'm outside. It's a very beautiful day, so I'm catching my sun rays today. But, anyways, uh, this is the case that comes in. Really cool graphic, high rotation. Uh, the tube that it comes with is a fiberglass tube, very thick fiberglass tube, I might add. There we go. And. Here's the list of the shells. I'm not gonna read it off. You can read it off. I'll go slowly. go all right <coughs> anyways uh, when I shoot off shells I rarely actually use a fuse anymore um, kind of lazy don't like to light it and run so uh, what I do is I get rid of this stuff here if I can <clears throat> and I get a brass all kind of open this up here. You, whenever you're doing a show or anything. It's probably smart to leave the fuse in and just poke around the fuse. But uh, since I'm not doing anything like that, I'm just going to uh, remove, remove the fuse and poke a hole with this. You can get in there and you can feel, you can actually feel the lip charge, the VP. pull out and then you've got your MJG uniter and this sticker in there some people say to pull that back it's actually not that safe to pull it back but, you know, you can make the judgment of that because there are actually products that you cannot punch a hole in big enough to get that in there. But uh, since it is, I would suggest just going ahead and leaving that shroud on. And uh, I actually forgot some tape, so I'm going to have to pause it. Okay, I'm back with some tape. Uh, this is not the the magic tape that you hear all about on on YouTube. Just your plain masking tape. I like to put just a piece of tape down here to cover up the hole that we just made. One more piece of tape up top to hold on to the to hold on to the igniter so it will fit down in the pipe. So here we go. Okay. 
it's right down in there. Just easy. Uh, this uh, rack that I have here, I've actually made this so I can shoot off a uh, 1.75 uh, canister ball shell. And then this right here is a two inch pipe for comets. So uh, I can have the comet go up and in the shell at the same time because there's a lot of uh, consumer shells that don't come with comets and it's just something that looks pretty. But anyways, uh, let me pull this out here and I forgot to do this. Uh, here's a comparison to your normal XCAL 1.75. Same diameter, of course, just a little bit longer. And uh, so this is my opinion on these five inch shells or anything bigger than your normal shell. It's still 60 grams. They can't put more composition in the shell just because it's longer. Uh, now they can fill it up completely to 60 grams, but that's unlikely uh, because they will get in trouble if they fi get found out that they're putting more than 60 grams in there so most likely they're gonna be the same as any other consumer shell some years they're gonna be great some years they're not gonna be so great so uh, if you find these shells and they're higher they're higher priced than a regular consumer shell you're basically wasting your money uh, but if you can find them for a good price and they're around the same price as an uh, xcal or something else then go ahead and pick them up because uh one thing about these they have really cool effects like uh this uh jawbreaker shell is really good with uh changing colors uh, it's good. this one that i'm going to shoot off is red changing to white strobe so uh yeah i mean they have different effects that uh, other canister shells do not so if you can get them up for a comparable price pick them up but if uh, you're expecting something amazing because it's got uh, an extra inch in length uh, you're wasting your money all right i'm going to set it up and shoot it off